National Board of Directors of Iraq Veterans Against the War, but more importantly, I'm part of a growing movement of active duty service members and veterans who are realizing that the occupation of Iraq is criminal, it is morally wrong, and despite what Obama says there is about Afghanistan, there is no such thing as a good war, and all of these occupations need to come to an end. I want to thank not just the local chapter here of Iraq Veterans Against the War for putting this together, but the, the wide range of ideologies represented in our allies that have come together to support us in our pretty simple mission in IVA Dub. So thank you all for being here. Now, from our inception, Iraq Veterans Against the War has called for three things. An immediate withdrawal of all troops from Iraq. And what that means most importantly is an immediate end to the occupation, that is to say the forceful interference with the sovereignty of the nation of Iraq. Second, full benefits for returning veterans regardless of discharge status. Yeah. Now, the reason that last part is so important is because we got troops coming home with PTSD, dealing with behavioral problems, alcoholism, getting in trouble with the military, and getting punished for a disease the military caused and being denied the benefits That's they earned. Right. Something's wrong here. The third thing is reparations for the Iraqi people. Now, when you get a bull in a china shop, you don't grab that bull by the horns and then tell him to put the china back together. You get him the heck out of the china shop and you write a check for the damages. Now, it's the very least we can do for the people of Iraq is hold ourselves accountable for the damage that we've caused. A lot of eloquent things have been said about the soldiers, why we got here, what the effect has been. But there is a group that I would like to just address, and that's the other casualties. The children, the wives, the mothers, the fathers. It has a lasting effect on them. And having grown up in a military family, I know what it's like to be bumped from place to place. I was lucky. I had good parents. But there was abuse, alcoholism all around. And it wasn't talked about because if you were a soldier and you can't handle your own family's problems, you can't control soldiers either. So it could have an effect on your family. But I'd just like to say a word in support of the extended families and the wives and children of military personnel. When's Casey coming home? Casey's supposed to be home in the middle of March.